Hi there, good morning. It's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks for joining us today for our Wednesday Facebook Live. Um, I missed you last week, but we're back and I have a, an adorable uh, Z Fold card that we can create today. Um, let me check. I want to be able to share this over on, um, over on the Lollipop Papers group. But I also want to make sure everybody knows to join the uh, Lollipop Paper and Friends. That's where we do our challenges. And um, every month we have the same challenge, which is, hold on, let me just share this. Um, it is just to post anything that you're working on, anything creative. Doesn't have to be stamping up, doesn't even have to be stamping. It could be knitting, crocheting, uh, gardening, whatever it is. So um, I hope that you can um, go ahead, join. You don't have to wait to be, re you know, to to request to join. So um, that's how we're going to. I want to make sure I'm I'm good over there. So um, yeah. So it's it's easy peasy. Just pop on over lollipop paper and friends. Let me see if I can get my um, comments to come up. So if you're here this morning with me live, um, say hi. If you're watching the replay later on, uh, here or on, over on YouTube, which should be up sometime later this afternoon, um, just let me know that you're watching replay. And if you are kind enough to share the video, um, your name will be put into the drawing for Prize Patrol for next week um, when we have our next Facebook Live. So let's start with some Prize Patrol from last week. And that is, um, let me see, make sure we're all here. Um, it was the Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set. And it was, um, hi Vicki, good morning. It was um, what, we, what we did last week. We did those cute little uh, um, jam jars and um, that cute little box to fit it in. So anyway, so that was what our project was. That was my prize patrol for, for everyone who shared that video. Thank you so much for each and every one of you. Um, it's, it's a great support to me when you do that. Um, hi, Belinda. Um, yes, happy Wednesday. Thank goodness. Um, just back from vacation, so it's taking me a little bit to get, uh, to get back into the swing of things. Anyway, so Peggy, Peggy Bowers is my uh, prize patrol winner for this week. So Peggy, I do have your address. I will be sure to, um, morning Linda, to get this out to you um, before the weekend. This week's uh, prize patrol, which will be, which we'll pick for uh, on next week's video, uh, next week's Facebook Live, I should say, is the hand-drawn blooms video. Uh, Stamp set, let me get this in the camera here. There we go. So um, this one is from the annual catalog and uh, hand-drawn blooms it's called. So it's a really pretty one. I'm not sure now, maybe it's from the January to June catalog, I forget. I think maybe it is, which um, is still current. It's current, all of, all of the products in that, except for the ones that are being carried over, will be, um, retiring and discontinued. So a lot of them are on the last chance list, which means it's um, a lot of them were discounted like up to 50%. So thank you ladies for sharing. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll, we'll pick a name for next week also. Okay, all right, let's get busy. I have a cute little Z Fold card for you today. Isn't that cute? And um, I just got into a little um, the stamp set, which I'll show you when I when I uh, put the camera back down, so you can see. So this is our project for today. Isn't this so cute? And I'll show you if you don't want to make it a Z card. I'll show you how you can just as easily just make it a, a card that opens up like that. So we're going to do this card today. Um, I I'm going to switch it up just a little bit because um, well I'll explain it to you when I when I'm doing it. But I like to have. A little bit of a solid color on my um, as my mat for all of my card fronts or or card bases. So that's that's just me. But I thought I could switch it up a little bit today. So thank you for sharing, ladies. I appreciate it. Um, so this is the stamp set. It's called Garden Birdhouses, and 
it's beautiful. It is, um, has all these beautiful, this, this is from the new, uh, from the annual catalog. Beautiful uh, bird houses, uh, little tiny cute little birds, flowers if you're not into the bird part, um, and really pretty, uh, pretty fonts. So this is on page um, 107 of the annual. And um, you can get some ideas here of, uh, you know, just some inspiration. It's just a stamp set. It doesn't have um, any dies or punches with it, but that is what makes it so great. Um, it's simple, it's inexpensive, it's only $18, but so you can find it here on page 107. Okay, so let's get busy with this. The only thing we're gonna have to do is just a tiny bit of scoring, but it's really not a big deal at all, just to get that, that fold. And also I wanted to just point out that I'm using the hand-penned uh, DSP from, um, from that beautiful suite, love that. And let's see, this one looks like it has the pale papaya, it looks like it's this one here, it has the pink. So that's the one I chose. I could have gone with any, any of them, I love them all. Beautiful, beautiful designs, and then on the flip sides, really nice uh, um, neutral patterns. Alrighty, so let's just take a um, regular card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm just gonna make two score lines. I'm gonna make one, the, the usual one that we always make, and that, whoops, we don't wanna cut it. That is at four, and a quarter, and then I'm gonna make it at one and a quarter. Let me just see if I can see that. Okay. Alrighty, and that's it. Those are our two score lines. That's all we have to worry about for that. I'm going to burnish them down just so you can see where I have them. Uh, we don't need that up there now. We can do that later. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna get folded in this way. Give it a nice burnish. And because it is a Z fold, you do want to um, just make sure your, your, line, your score lines are really tight, tightly burnished, because um, you don't want to add too much bulk to it. And you want it to sit as, as nice as you can. Okay, there you go. That's the whole Z. That's all we have to worry about. Now here I put, um, if you can see this, the uh, cardstock and the DSP measurements. Now on this card here, I didn't use the cardstock as the back and I kind of wanted to. So um, I think this is beautiful. I love the way it came out, but I wanted to add a little bit of the solid color to the back of it. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I have my pieces that I already um, trimmed for you. So this is the one that is um, five and a quarter by two and three quarters. And we're just going to layer this on here. This is two and five eighths by five and an eighth. So let me get my um, my seal. And we're just gonna do a little bit of layering. Good morning, Nancy. All right, so. It turns out last time I gave up on this seal because I thought it was um, done, but it wasn't. It was just not behaving, but this seems to be fine. And if you're doing it and it has a, uh, a direction to it, if you're doing it this way with, with a pattern that does have direction, just make sure that it's vertical. Okay, now this is gonna go right in here. And I did, um, cut back the measurements a little bit because this one went right to the edges. So I wanted to give, I, I do like that little white border um, all around it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And that was the best um, tip I received when I saw that, because um, I was just doing this and doing this with my finger and it was ridiculous. So um, all you have to do is just keep your silicone mat nearby. Give that a little, um, a little pass on that and you're good to go. All right, so we have our one layer here. Here's our second layer. This is gonna go into the, onto the opening right here. 
okay? Same, these are the measurements right here. You can take a screenshot if you want, but I should have this, um, all this information on the blog this afternoon. Hopefully, like I said, I'm trying to catch up. And then I have um, plans this weekend, and then I'm babysitting my little Philly chicks early next weekend so they could get a break, my daughter and her husband. It's been a long pandemic, a long lockdown with two little babies. So, so that's why next week I might have to, um, I might have to postpone my um, Wednesday Facebook Live. I won't postpone it completely, but I think maybe I'll need to do a, um, maybe on Thursday, if that's okay with you guys. All right, so this is, um, I just want to layer this, I mean center this a little better here. So it's always easier for me to do it from the side. There we go. Okay, there, most of it's done already right there for us. Okay, so you could leave this white, That's that would still look good. But I think I'm just going to put this full sheet here. There's no um, cardstock back there. But um, this is, oh, I didn't put that on there, this little guy. I'm going to have to do that. I'll make sure that that's in the blog. But this is the coordinating side, the back side of one of the, um, of one of the patterns from that hand penned. And I'm just laying this right onto the crease. Okay. There we go. So look how pretty and how simple that was. Now, what I wanted to do here, well, let's do a little stamping from that uh, birdhouse, which is just so adorable. I'm going, going to use my, um, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use my black memento ink, and I already cut this, cropped this out from the um, uh, scalloped contour dies. And I think I'll start with my, um, my sentiment down on the bottom so I know where to place my, my birdhouse. And we'll just try to get that nice and straight. I love this font. It's very bold and um, full. You know, it's, I mean, I do love some, the other ones where they're nice and um, uh, fine and like, you know, how they have the fonts you know I love that but this is just nice because it pops it really pops especially when you're going to be doing the um, a little bit of blends with that all right so I'm just take one of these little birdies and put him right on the edge there there we go all right get those out of the way and I'm just gonna bring in my two of my mark my blends and this um, color, this coordinating color from the pack is mint macaron. At first I thought it was the soft succulent, which it is not. It is the, this, this pack um, coordinates with the garden green and the mint macaron. So I pulled out my mint macaron blends and I'm just going to give it a really quick color. And you know, I like to have a little bit of white in there so even when I'm um, I'm blending I make sure that I uh, always don't be so careful with it just a little bit and here I'm using the fine uh, tip here for the darker and that's how I do it some people do dark first and then light but um, I do it the other way around so you just do whatever works for you. All right, so that's just a little bit of dark, and then I go back in with my blends, and I just pull it, just so you're pulling it in, and that's the whole idea of the blending. You're pulling it in the dark into the light. All right, and now I'm gonna use my Daffodil Delight, I believe that's what this is, yes. And again, I'm gonna start with the light, really quick. Just give it a once over. I think I'll do my little birdie in the yellow. And then I'm gonna go back again. These are new, so they are like really tight, sh shut so tight I could hardly open them. 
I'm going to maybe just do a little bit of dark here on that panel. I'll do a little bit of his feathers. And look how quick and simple that was. All right, again, I'm just dragging it in, dragging my dark into my light. And I'm done with that. Okay, so before I put him on here, I want to run a little bit of the ribbon. And this is the pale papaya ribbon. I don't think that's gonna be big enough. So I'm gonna take another piece. And uh, so this is picking up the pale papaya right here in the, um, in the print. And I'm doing this first so that I can put my label, my um, tag right over it. So let's just see how much we need here. Probably more than we need, but that's okay. Come on, you. Get my fingers to work. All right. And let's just make a little bow. Now, sometimes, if I'm not going to put a, a, um, a glue dot there, sometimes I use this little, I'm not even sure what it's called, reverse tweezers, maybe? I think. I think that's what they're called, but it just gives me that extra hand to hold that baby down while I am getting my ribbon here, okay? And then you can do all your fussing with it after. Where is it? Right here. And I do want it to be, um, to be short. So I'm gonna pull it on both sides. And you could put a glue dot there if you wanted to hold it nice and tight. It's still too, too big, so let's bring that in a little bit. Okay. And give that tail a snip. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to place this right on here. And then that's it. We're done. So what I'm going to do is just, um, I still want a little bit of this border to show. So I'm just going to put some snail, oh, not snail seal on this side here and that should hold it it should hold it just fine and then we have a little bit of um of embellishment that i'm going to add to it now here if you wanted to leave it the z fold you've got that going right there it's perfect and i do love this um this one this is another one this is one is from the um the scalloped uh contour dies and I just love this one because you can sneak your ribbon in there if you want or, or this way. So this is one of my favorites. But so what I was saying is if you don't want to make it the Z and you want to make it a little bit flatter for, for mailing purposes, you would just run some um, adhesive right down there, close that baby up, and, and you're done. And then it would just open like that, which is still perfectly beautiful. All right, we're just gonna finish up with a little bit of bling from the uh, Genial Gems. What I did here was just put two of the little ones. Um, I, I'm thinking this is, was more geared towards the soft succulent, this color, but it has these like gold flecks in it, which is so pretty. And obviously it picks it up beautifully with the mint macaron. And then I'll just put a big one right here, just to highlight the sentiment. There you go. I mean, how quick was that? That was like, I think that was our fastest one so far. <laughs> so, all right, so that is that. See how simple it was. And it's just something a little extra, that's all. Uh, just, you know, if you get tired of just doing the standard layer on layer, this one is just um, perfect for that. Just and you can see it had absolutely no effort to it. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you like the one with the border in the back or do you like it flush up against the card base? I think I'll, I think I'll post both of them and see what the, uh, the general consensus is. So let me bring you back up here and we can get our host. Nope, 
that's not the right one that one right there okay so that's it ladies we had a really quick Facebook live today if you have any questions just let me know you can ask them here you can post them I appreciate your sharing and oh I did want to say I did want to show you one thing Sunday I believe is the beginning of our first day of summer so um, here in in this continent so um, I wanted to do something special for my customers for that will last all summer long. And so what I'm doing is I'm having a summer scoop special. And um, you know what, let me put you back down here so you can see this uh, a little bit more clearer. Um, so what this is gonna do is, whoops, too much. Um, starting this Sunday, which is, uh, the first day of summer, the 20th, also Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to, to everyone out there. Um, and what it will be is, as you can see here, um, any order that you place between um, Sundays for the entire summer up until Labor Day, um, any order that you place, I'm going to put your name onto any order over $50. I'm going to put your name onto a little scoop of ice cream and then uh, Labor Day weekend when we are all back together again here um, I'm going to uh, draw and um, draw several names I I'm waiting for my new for the new catalog to come which would be the even though it's not starting until August it's called the um, the the July to December catalog, uh, the mini catalog. So that's really the holiday catalog. So we're all used to that. But uh, so I will have um, lots of prizes, prize, prize patrol to give away in, on, um, on Labor Day. So I'm going to fill up my little, my little mini jar here uh, with all the scoops. I have a, a bunch already cut, ready for your names to go on there. And then I will be drawing for uh, gifts to, for me to send to you as thank yous. It can be anything from an embellishment all the way up to a bundle. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of stuff on hand and um, we'll give them away. I will show you um, as we're doing it. Hi, Jan. Um, I did have a great trip. Thank you so much for asking. I'm still like in heaven over it, just thinking about it. Um, so... Uh, you know, and I'll show you the, you know, as we're doing it uh, periodically, maybe here on our lives, I'll show you the, uh, the that your names are on the um, these little summer scoops. So that starts on Sunday and it will run through. You'll see it on my, um, you'll see it on my blog posts, on my emails, uh, in my, on my Facebook page. So just as a reminder, but I just wanted to give you a little visual of what it's going to look like. So, um, so I hope you can uh, participate and I'm, I'm happy to give away all those things at the end of the summer to celebrate everyone. All right. I think that's it. Um, I will see you next week. Now, like I said, I'm going to be watching my babies, uh, Monday to Wednesday. So I think we're going to we're going to do this on Thursday. And it might be a quick one. It might be a case from the catalog. I don't know, but I'll be here, but it just might uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Thursday instead of Wednesday. So I hope that um I'll see you all back here that week, that that day. So have a great day, a great weekend, happy Father's Day, and um I will see you next time. I totally appreciate you spending some time with me today. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.